What's up guys, Ron here with another StarCraft 2 cast. Let's go ahead and check out today's combatants on here on, uh, I believe it's Newkirk Compound. I'm still getting those Newkirks figured out, uh, but I believe that is the one. It might be Newkirk City or something, whatever. Uh, in the bottom right hand corner, we're going to have the Red Zerg Recovery. And coming in in the blue Terran in the bottom left corner is going to be Mr. Crentist. And, uh... Bring up that production tab as well as we watched our champions of the day take each other on one-on-one -on -one in this ZVT, TVZ, whatever you want to call it, matchup of incredible fortune. And, ooh, that's a little uh, decal icon-y thing I have not seen. I believe it's just from leveling up, uh, but I haven't actually seen anyone use it in-game. And uh, Mr. Crentis using a... Is that Protoss? That... Um, that looks Protossy, but I, I bet it's Terran. Whatever the case is, both players are going to be going at it here, head to head on this map. Want to blow each other's bits out into space, and uh, we'll see who pulls it off, who does it successfully. Uh, in the meantime, today is Thursday, the 18th. It is the 18th of April, that is the date. Uh, tomorrow, Friday the 19th, I will be continuing. My Heart of the Swarm Let's Play, which I have been horribly neglecting. Um, I had some voice issues. I had some work issues, among other things. Uh, but I have found some time at least tomorrow, and we'll be bringing that back tomorrow with at least one episode. And, and I say at least one for now, because mm, maybe more. But uh, at least one for now. In the meantime, Krentis doing a little bit of Cheezosaurus Rex over here with a proxy bear going in on the low ground. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure uh, recovery is all over that. Uh, he is going to have none of this. And unfortunately, Krentis has no idea that recovery has seen this. And it's just kind of a whole fail bot, fail boat rather, uh, going on here. Fail barracks? Uh, I don't know. Whatever's going on here, Krentis is going to get some... Uh, uh, the wrong end of the shtick here, I believe, very soon. Uh, he's going to obviously be trying to get some Reapers up here. Perhaps Marines, but I'm going to guess Reapers. Uh, especially considering he's got 100 gas. Of course, that makes sense. Um, oh, Marines. Wow. All right. Uh, we're going to get some sort of bunker rush, which will be harder for recovery to deal with. Uh, if Krentis had gone straight for the Reaper tech... Uh, you know, the Reapers would have been probably easy, easily defeated with a couple lings and a queen. But with a bunker rush coming in here, it is going to be harder for Recovery to deal with this. Again, Recovery still has the one up on that. He can still see it with his Overlord. And uh, those lings are going to be coming out. It's long before that bunker is finished. However, he is not going to be going down to attack it. There's going to be plenty of time. The bunker is going to finish. The Marine's going to get in it. Uh, the, the lings have the high ground. Not that that freaking matters. Wings don't do jack with the high ground. And uh, now we got two Marines in there. STV going to go up, get the high ground. No Marine! Earth Zergling gets killed. Holy crap. <coughs> a, a, a needless assassination on that Zergling. Uh, recovery could have easily not had that happen. A little bit of OV scouting wouldn't have been an issue here, but unfortunately for him... Not playing it out to the smartest of his ability here. He is, in fact, having some issues here. And really should be getting more queens. Maybe even tech to roach so he could take advantage of that high ground position here. Take out the SCV. Take out the bunker. Now, unfortunately, there's a second bunker being built on the high ground. And if that gets up, that's going to be a serious issue for recovery. Of course, it's going to be a lot harder to get that up. Uh, recovery is going to easily take that out. The SCV, ooh, the SCV could have easily been taken out. Not going to happen today. Uh, <laughs> Krentis is going to start the eternal repair on this bunker. Uh, but the, oh, the barracks brings in the high ground vision, and the queen gets sniped off. Quite a few SCVs move in. A widow mine burrowed down, burrowed down. Ooh, and the AOE damage does take out one of the SCVs. The other SCV going to come in and repair his widow mine friend. Saying, hey, don't kill my Widow Mines. They are my friends. There is a Overlord over here for recovery. So you can see anything queued up and moving across the map. Which at this time is nothing. Because the factory is over here for the Widow Mines. So we have Proxy, proxy Barracks. 
proxy factory and now another bunker coming down gonna be much closer than the other one and a good move on that build right there easily defended should have the high ground vision to at least defend part of this um i believe he can hit about here so at the same time recovery could do some damage to this but there's this widow mine here there's this widow mine here which just took out a bunch of lings as well as a few marines and suddenly no not really suddenly but slowly recovery situation is getting worse and worse at one point he had an easy advantage he knew this rush was coming and unfortunately he didn't really adapt to it he didn't take advantage of what he saw he had that vision that Krentis didn't have Krentis didn't know that recovery knew but nothing has stopped it Krentis has now moved in he's gonna take out this natural no problem unless a massive group of lings come in but they still have to contend with this widow mine which if the zerglings rush in in mass the widow mine will kill them and we now have a stargate proxy ladies and gentlemen this is a 111 proxy i have never seen a 111 proxy in my history of starcraft holy crap Pro props to krentis for pulling off a 111 proxy most of the time, any kind of rush like this has been, you know, either wins or loses much quicker than this. And so a 1-1-1 proxy is crazy nuts. Ooh, some more uh, AoE friendly damage there, taking out quite a few Marines from that wood of mine. Not really what or what uh, Krentis wanted, but he's going to survive to fight another day. We do have a siege tank now up here. Um, he hasn't yet salvaged this bunker. I, I would do that. I mean, you're not sitting on that many minerals. In fact, you're you're really not sitting on any. So I would I would definitely salvage that bunker. It's not needed at this time. Um, obviously you can't build any more, and maybe that is why he's keeping it because uh, with this creep here is just not happening. Uh, you know there's a tumor here somewhere though. You don't see the creeper retreating. Uh, you could throw a scan down right about on your bunker and probably find this guy and get it. Uh, now that's not something necessary. Uh, just something you, you could do. And uh, the siege tanks would probably get it. Uh, gonna start sieging a few larva. Why the heck not? Ooh, that one link. Oh my god! He got thrown up onto high ground. That is nuts. And a viking gonna move in. Get some crucial spying eyes going on. The queen says, hey, hey get out of here. Mm -mm, no scouting today. Uh, at this time, if I was Krentis, I would be expanding. Uh, he's sitting on 500 minerals. And uh, just great time to expand. You've got your your enemy in a deep one base situation. Uh, a great opportunity to expand. Now he does have a Nidus. He does have a high uh, overlord over here, and indeed there is the Nidus. So there is a bit of concern for uh, Krentis at this time. In fact, it may very well become a base race here. Uh, but this is why I said build an expansion. And in fact, in this situation, if he sees the Nidus worm. He needs to expand right here. That would not be a normal move. You would not normally want to do that because if your front line collapsed, you would lose your expansion. But in this situation, you've got the money. You see the attack coming on your undefended base. This is your minerals. This is your lifeline. Throw your expansion right here, right now, or here even. That is a good place as well uh, because obviously these, bunk, uh, these supply depots are going to fall. Uh, ooh, some nice moves by the uh, SCVs to try and save that, uh, but not going to happen today. The Lings move in, a nice liftoff and move out by the Orbital. Obviously, the SCVs couldn't do too much. I would have liked to have seen them ready to run sooner, grouped up and just kind of try and bolt out of there uh, earlier. Not a big concern. Uh, obviously, you got the Orbital out, which is the big concern at this time. Uh, so, ooh, uh, and there goes a cup, another expansion, actually going to expand off of the losing of his main, which is kind of cool. Uh, for the moment, though, he is operating with one SCV. Uh, he does have two here, but they are being picked on by a single Ling. The remaining Lings, uh, well, just five, I guess, are going to take out what's left in this base. Oh, there's the rest. Uh, so, losing his main, not what he wanted to do, but he obviously saved that orbital, and that was key. Now, the contain obviously still sitting pretty, uh, but you could probably move in at this time. Uh, try and secure a, a, a line right here. You got those tanks, and that is the, what is key. So, reinforced by Marines. Uh, not as many Marines as I would like to see. Of course, you are grabbing that expansion, which is mineral resource intensive. 
Uh, but a couple marines out of these guys, maybe even throw a reactor and a tech lab onto those as they, you do have the gas and the mins at this time. Uh, this is very nice though. The Viking doing the high ground vision with the tank sieging. Very nice. Fortunately, he uh, lost that Viking. Could have microed him out of there and uh, saved him. But at the same time, this line is continuing. You're continuing the pressure. And uh, Credit's doing a very nice job of that. Uh, <laughs> the spine caller causing some issues there. Uh, he is retreating, though. Great opportunity to try and snipe it. Unfortunately, the mer Ooh, the wings pull out. And actually, a good move by Krentis. Did not want to lose... Or, excuse me, recovery. Did not want to lose his entire Baneling bulk here. Kind of his only lifeline at, this line at this point. But what I've noticed, and a very good move by recovery, he has expanded out here. And if I was him, I would frankly throw every single unit into my Nidus Worm right now and get out of this base it is dead now throwing up some sort of facade defense would be good because it would tell Corentus hey he's still here this is all he's got I'm concerned uh, so keeping a little bit there's good but I would get the bulk out oh so many drones just lost and that really kind of kills it for recovery honestly I don't see him being able to pull anything off after losing that many drones the bulk of recovery's units move in. A last ditch attempt to try and win this game. He does not do it. Units get shredded. He calls the GG. Do you want to give a big congrats to Krantis? Rolled right out of that move, losing his main. Did not, did not panic. Said, hey, I got this game. I don't need my main. I can just transition over here. And I will continue my contain. Work methodically. And choke him out. Very good move. One thing I do want to say, though, is when your base gets attacked from a group like that and you know you have a contain, start scouting about the map. He did have an expansion. He could have potentially rolled with that. Uh, didn't today, but who knows? A, a future player may be able to roll with that and beat you. Uh, knowing you lost your main, it would be an opportunity. Either way, I do want to thank Krentis for sending this game in. Uh, another game from him, and I loved casting it. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. I am Zarandin. Please do thumbs up and subscribe so I can bring you more StarCraft 2 content. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, uh, if you want me to cast your game, send those to Zeranen at gmail.com. Uh, that is in the information below. And I will catch all of you next time. I have been Zeranen. I already gave my sign out. Peace. Bye. See ya. Later.